Since the dawn of GSM, mobile phones are able to use an interactive SIM menu, which can rely on user input to enable or disable certain features by your carrier. However, many carriers abuse this feature. For example, this screenshot comes from Brazil, I guess, and the carrier uses the SIM messages, which are basically interactive pop-ups covering your screen, to peddle some stupid paid features by this carrier. If you tap on OK, the carrier will start to take additional weekly payment for some stupid service since you agreed to this. And as this is a pop-up message that covers half of the phone's screen, it is very easy to accidentally tap OK like you normally do for any other pop-ups, especially if this pop-up interrupts you in the middle of something else. So basically this is a scam from the carrier to take more money from you. And also, the same service is also used by some governments to send you an alert message and if any of this news is to be believed, you will not be able to use your phone until you confirm the reception of this message. So actually, it is very easy to get rid of those messages, but only on Android. If you're on iPhone, unfortunately, the only way for you to get rid of those spam messages from your carrier is to call up your carrier customer service and specifically ask them to disable this for your telephone number. However, in most cases, the carrier will refuse to do that since this is how they make money. But on Android, you can actually disable this on your side so your phone will not receive those messages. I will show how to do it on MTK-based Android phones and tablets. That means that the chipset is from MediaTek. MediaTek is the leader so most mobile devices in the world are running MTK processors. However, Qualcomm is a close competitor and there are some minor players as Unisoc, Kirin, Exynos and some others. However, I will show how to disable these messages on MediaTek as it is the most popular chipset in the world. So basically on MediaTek phones, there are three system apps that are responsible for displaying these messages and managing the SIM menu. They are only responsible for the SIM menu and you have to disable them. This will not disable your phone. You will still be able to receive calls and text messages through the carrier services but it will disable the SIM menu. And these are free system apps. So you have to go to your Android settings, apps, tap on three dots and select show system apps. So the apps are SIM app dialog, SIM toolkit and SIM processor. You may just go inside each of them and select force stop. This will disable them for some time. However, they may get re-enabled. So it works, but only as a temporary solution. If you want something more permanent, you need something to freeze those apps. Some phones have certain applications that are able to freeze other applications, like this Caldrum app. However, unfortunately, it is not able to freeze system applications. So if you want a more permanent solution, you have two more options, one for rooted phones and the other one for non-rooted phones. If your phone is rooted, you may use any application that is able to disable or deinstall other applications. For example, Titanium Backup. In this app, you just freeze those free applications that I told you, and you will not ever see any of those messages again. If your phone is not rooted, you may disable those applications for your phone user through ADB command. It's not the same as uninstalling them. However, they will be disabled for your current user. That means for the user of your phone, for yourself. And that will have the same effect. So basically, you may do it manually through ADB. It's more convenient to do it using a PC. However, on newer Android versions, you can send ADB commands directly from the phone to itself. Anyway, a more convenient way to do it is some app for Windows and Linux, which is called ADB App Control. You will need to install the MTK drivers on your computer. You will need to enable USB debugging in your phone developer settings. 
you will obviously need to start the app on the computer and for the sake of convenience you may want to install an app on the phone so it will display a nice catalog of installed applications on your computer. Anyway, after you do that, select those free apps and click Disable. And this will disable those free apps, even though you cannot do it through phone settings itself. After that, your Android smartphone will stop receiving scam messages from your carrier. Once again, normal text messages and normal calls should still be working just fine. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.